<laughs> hey guys, Stephen Gilbert here with SoulWeb.org, where internet marketing meets integrity. And on today's show, I have the legendary Andrew Fletcher, otherwise known as Andy Fletcher, who has been running a software business empire for the past eight years. And he's here to tell us about a pretty exciting new page slash funnel builder that does a lot of stuff that some of the others don't. So I'm really excited to have you, Andy. Thanks for coming on the show. Hey, Stephen. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Hey, no, thank you. I know it's getting a little late there in the UK. Um, so basically how this goes, man, is I just ask a few questions. I just you know, kind of want to get your take on it and then maybe get a quick demo. So my first question is what makes your page builder? Is it convert tree or convert try? How, how, do, how do you pronounce it? I know I already asked. Uh, convert tree, although uh, lesson one, pick a name that people can fucking pronounce. <laughs> there you go. That's free for every listener out there. That's something we got wrong out of the game. All right. So this convert tree, um, <laughs> what makes it different and better than other page builders that are already on the market? Uh, there's three three key things we've got um, that basically no other page builder or funnel builder can touch us on. First of all is page speed. When you build your pages in convert tree the pages load phenomenally fast. Um, when we when I share my screen in a minute, I've got some uh, I've got some examples. But just to kick off one example, uh, John Botel did a did a test on this earlier in the week. Uh, he basically he built one page in ClickFunnels and then he put, rebuilt exactly the same page in Convertry. And the ClickFunnels page scored eight out of hundred on Page Insights with Google. And convert exactly the same page on Convertry scored ninety six out of hundred on PageSpeed Insights. Is that good or bad? Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between those two. So can you explain what that means? Uh, so basically, the, the um, people get bored really quickly. Right. When they're accessing a page, you've got there are statistics that show you've got three seconds to get your page loaded or they leave. Um, that's, that's Neil Patel. I uh, did that study. And uh, all the, I think he reported on it might have been warm-up. Doesn't matter. The point is, three seconds before um, up to about forty percent of your traffic goes away if your page doesn't load in three seconds. Um, so we have put a ton of engineering time into making these in, these pages as fast as we possibly can, and you don't have to do any of that. All the image optimization, all the page optimization, preloading fonts, like all of the technical stuff that nobody understands, we do all of it for you automatically. So your pages load just ridiculously quickly. Um, to get another example, um, a mate of mine, Noel Cunningham, uh, rebuilt one of his uh, quite image-heavy sales pages that he uses. Um, it was built originally on Optimized Press with stuff on S3, and that page took 12.1, sorry, 12.01 seconds, to basically 12 seconds to load the page. He rebuilt it in Convertry, literally said it took him five minutes, drag, drag the images in, re relay out the text, and five minutes later, he had the page loading in 1.37 seconds. Wow. See, we have that uh, problem with optimized press in our business. Like, we have to spend at least every time we make a page an hour optimizing the images, making sure they're uploaded to Amazon SES, making sure they're not all on the same server. Because when you do it through optimized press, the page will take forever to load. Like, it, it will take over three seconds if you don't optimize every little detail. So, well, basically, what you're saying is, in virtually, optimizes the, the page for you so that you don't lose traffic and visitors. Uh, absolutely. We do absolutely all of that stuff for you. There's, there's none of it. It's, it's not like we give you the tools to do it. We do it for you. That's cool. We optimize the images so that they're, exactly, they're as small as we can make them, but you don't lose any of the quality. We do a ton of all, everything's minified. It's, uh, it's really, really fast. I'll, I'll show you a demo when I do a screen share in a minute. It's really cool. Cool. Um, um, the next thing we've got for people is... Oh, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. Uh, mo most editors have this very, like, sections and then rows and then columns thing going on, and then elements sit in that. So as long as you want it to look like one of those pages, you're kind of good to go. But if you want to do anything clever, like have an image hanging over the edge of something or like a diagonal line or anything that isn't that very blocky look, you can't really build it in the other editors. In Convert, it's completely free form. Drag anything anywhere you want it and where you put it, that's where it's going to be. Um, lots of people ask us, it's like, oh, where's the preview button? And it's like, 
well, until you publish it, there isn't one because you're looking at your page. That's awesome. it, it, what you see in the editor is what it's going to look like. Well, that's awesome. And see, the reason I wanted to get you on the call is because I've been preaching a lot, literally preaching on my Marketing Hour podcast about how people put out half-baked softwares that barely work. And you are one of the few in the industry that are known for putting together products that work right out of the box, do everything they're supposed to do, and you have the support team to back it up. So I'm actually really excited for this. So let me ask you this. Who do you think is the target audience? Like who is going to be, who's going to really benefit from this the most? Like I know for sure I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be using this because I'm, I'm tired of optimized press. Optimized press times out like every 10 minutes and you have to reload the page and keep editing. You know what I mean? So who do you think is the target audience? Like who, who who's going to benefit from this? I mean, th this is going to sound really trite, but basically online, like if, if you're a landing page and if you're selling online, you should have a funnel, even if you don't have one now. And Convertry is the absolute best way to have that. You cannot beat us on speed. You cannot beat us on freeform design. You can't beat us on stability. We are like basically if, if you're selling online you should be using this it's it's just the coolest thing ever awesome. um you know, a lot of people say that and it's, it's kind of a lie and they're like you know this really niche like you know seo weird like thing is you know for everyone hey i, I used to say that five years ago i was like everyone should be doing seo but re realistically not many people are but it, 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 it's the definition of our industry is somebody selling online if you're selling online your pages should be built on this yeah, and, 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 and honestly, like, you can't put together a web page that looks like it's out of the mid-2000s or late 90s and expect to get traffic. People are going to look at your web page, see that it looks old, and just assume that it's not relevant. Like, your web pages need to be, you know, modern looking. They need to look great. Does Convertry do mobile optimization, by the way? Does it also work on, like, does it do that too? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a, a really cool mobile optimization algorithm. So you, in fact, I'll show you um, in the editor in a moment. But basically, you build your desktop page, and then you swap to mobile view. And we do a, it's really good, but it's not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and say it makes the absolute perfect mobile page. That would be lying. You're going to have to spend five, ten minutes, like, moving a few things around um, to make it, like, line up right but it's it's really close it's close than anything else out there on the market for just like click the button and it, even though go ahead i didn't mean to interrupt oh sorry i think i think the stream just cut out there for a moment uh, oh. did, did you get my answer to the mobile thing? no it, it, it well you cut off toward the very end of it Cool. Uh, well, just to repeat the end then, uh, basically, we've got a mobile optimization algorithm, build it in desktop, swap to mobile, it'll take you five more minutes, um, and you'll have your mobile version of the page that works on just about every device. Like, I haven't tested it on every single mobile phone in the world, but we haven't found one it doesn't work on yet. That's cool. That's cool. And, and, and when you consider, like, the development costs to pay someone to build a website for you, versus using this, it's well worth putting in the extra five to 10 minutes anyway, in my opinion. So how about this? How, you, do you want to jump into your demo and show people how cool this is? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's show people how, how this works. And I've also got some examples of the, the speed stuff as well. Cool. Um, so right, let's, let's do this screen share thing. Cool. Can you see my screen? It's loading. There it is. Cool, excellent. So I want to start with um, this example, um, which is, uh, this is one of our beta testers, um, who uh, he literally sent me this 10 minutes before we hopped on this interview um, uh, to say that he, he just rebuilt one of his pages um, in Convertry. Um, and you can see that basically th this is his original page on the left. This is his Convertry version on the right. And it scores 8% higher on page speed gray, 10% higher on Y slows page speed score. It loads the original one, 5.5 seconds, the convertry one, 1.4 seconds. Um, it's literally half the size. Um, his original one, 1 1.6 megs, us down to 858. And he, he hasn't done any of that. He's literally just built the page in convertry, the same as he did in the other tool. Um, and then the total number of requests dropped massively. So th th this page just loads so much quicker just for him porting it over to Convertry. Now, can I ask a question? 
Yeah, go for it. Um, am I correct to assume? Because I'm not. I mean, I'm not an SEO kind of like knowledgeable guy. Am I correct to assume that Google prefers pages that load faster and will rank them a little bit higher compared to pages that load slower, or is that a misconception? No, no, that's absolutely true. Um, it, it's not a misconception at all. Um, and I would go so far as to say it doesn't just rank things a little bit higher. Like it, the core of SEO is link building. Like you're not going to change that. But given two equivalent pages, Google ranks fast loading stuff way higher. It has done for about 18 months now. Um, go, go back a bit more, more than that. And it didn't really pay any attention to page speed. But Google wised up like everyone else. People care about page speed. They want things to load fast. And Google ranks things higher if it loads quicker. Awesome, awesome. OK, so go ahead. Continue with your, uh, your, your demo. I'm going to close out Skype because it keeps bringing that notification. But keep going on. Yeah, yeah, I've just done the same thing. Cool. OK, let's, uh, let's jump, into the, jump into the editor. So uh, well, first of all, let's, let's look at a few of the example templates. So th these are literally pages that, um, that they come with, with the front end purchase. They're there to use for whatever you like. They're completely customizable, as you'll see in a mo. But I've got some examples of we, we've got a like so consulting gig one, uh, like a, a software pre-sell type one generating leads there. Um, this is a this is really cool. This is uh, the imagery on this is one of my favorites. This is um, one for like a local barbershop service, um, a travel website one, um, and uh, a kind of checkout end of uh, end of process type template. Um, there's, there's a load of templates built into the front end. I just thought I'd share a few of them to see kind of what's in there. So, because I'm about to do a from scratch demo um, to show how quick you can build your own page. But the, the first question that's going to be in everyone's head is, oh, I don't know, like, you know, I don't want to build it from scratch myself. So, I, I, you know, I'm showing you up front, I'm going to build it from scratch because I can, but you don't have to. We've got a whole bunch of templates in there, there to use. Okay, can I, can I, so basically, they could take these, this convert tree. And build pages for offline businesses if they wanted, or they could take it and build them for themselves. Oh, absolutely! Like one of, one of the easiest ways to make money off this, if uh, for someone who's like buying it to run their own business rather than just as a tool in their business, if you want to buy this and make money tomorrow, like making landing pages for local businesses. I mean, there is a there is a barber shop like this in every town in the country in the world um, that would love this page, yeah. like a customer. Customize it, swap out a couple of the images, and you've got a landing page. You could sell them tomorrow. That's awesome. Cool. So let's jump in and do a little bit of a from scratch demo. Say so, um, this is a this is just a blank page. So editor's loaded up. Um, let's keep it nice and simple. Let's first of all let's set a, a pretty background image. So page property is background image. And just to show how easy it is to get an image online, I've got an image file on my desktop. I drag it in, drop it into the editor. That image will upload. It'll take a moment. I'm sorry, because I'm, I'm streaming it, a moment to upload. But then that image is available to use in Convertry, and it's already been optimized. So wherever we put this uh, now, it will be available in its optimized form. So in this case, we're going to select it, and it's now the background of our page. Nice. Let's. Uh, I. I. I really love the sort of like opacity, like semi-transparent over in layers. So I'm going to add a panel. Going to make it full width, and let's change the background colors. So let's make it black, but sort of fifty percent transparent. As you can see, like as I edit these colors, everything changes in the editor. So you're not constantly going or oh, in like change it a bit, come out. What happened? Like you. You can see in real time. In fact. I, I don't know if the stream will keep up. I'm just going to like drag this across the screen so you can see the thing update. Mm -hmm. Like that, then text. Let's uh, make text white. And then we're going to go, hello world. Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll go with the black heading because it's easier. Make the text a load bigger, center it. Now, key thing here is I can drag this heading around anywhere I want to put it. it you know, on a normal editor, um, one of the blocky ones, I wouldn't be able to drag it out of this box. Or if I did, it would be very limited what I could do with it. If I want to put this text in the top left-hand corner, 
I put it in the top left-hand corner. If I want to put it below the box, I drag it down here. Easy as that. Where, wherever you want to put it, you can put it. Um, it's it's like, like using Word or PowerPoint or anything like that. If you use those tools, you can use this. Um, then to show off a slightly cooler feature here, um, I'm just going to um, uh, chuck in an email, email box and a submit button. I won't bother styling these for now. Um, so you can see as I drag these around, everything snaps to everything else. So you can see I've got this email box here. And then as I drag this around, you'll see it matches up with that. So it makes it really easy to make neat layouts. Even though it's completely freeform, your stuff won't be junky. You know how Uzine makes images? You've actually created like the ultimate page builder that allows you to do alignment and perfect alignment and everything. This is so cool. I'm really impressed. Thank you. Like um, it's 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 taken us a lot of engineering effort to get to this point. Um, a lot of late nights, but um, we, we are now. And since you mentioned Uzine, we have a Uzine integration. So if you've got Uzine designs already and you want to chuck them on the page, just dr drag the Uzine element in. Um, and you were sorry, I haven't got my account configured. I can't show you it, but you, you drag it in and you go, I want that image at that size, and then you can resize it in a, in Convertry. That's awesome. So yeah, got this kind of sent to the heading. There we go. So we've got that now. Show you another cool feature. Um, because freeform editors are quite awkward in that you cut it's hard to move groups of stuff around. Um, so we fix that with this concept of containment. So you can see that this text box, this input box, and this submit button are all kind of black panel. So when I move this black panel, they move with it. So you, you don't have to, I don't have to like drag each thing around when I want to move it. I can, I can lay them out within it and then move it around. But if I want to take one out, I just take one out like that. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm asking people in the chat if they have questions to go ahead and put them, but continue. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to do, um, Another demo now. So what, one thing that's um, quite awkward, if I put this at the top and then I'm going to chuck just a couple of junky panels below this to kind of illustrate the point. Yeah, so you imagine this is your page with like lots of stuff going down the page and then you suddenly realize that you forgot something at the top of the page. Um, on a one of the like blocky editors um, out there that a lot of people have implemented, you can just kind of drop a, a new section in the top. When it's a freeform editor, we, it's hard. You can't just drop something in. So we needed a way for, to free up space. So we've got this concept of the shift drag. So when I hold down shift and drag this panel, it doesn't just drag the one thing. It drags everything below it as well. So we can drag the page down, put our new thing in at the top, and then drag this stuff back up underneath it like that. Oh, so that no, no worries cut off once, once, you've, once you've laid out your page. Um, you, you're not like, oh, damn it, I, I can't put something back at the top. You can you can edit that area just as easily. That is so cool. And now, since you mentioned mobile, uh, I'm going to show you how it works now. Um, so basically, um, as, as you can imagine, if this was if we mobilize this, we'd roughly expect Hello Stephen to be at the top. We'd expect a black, you know, semi-transparent section with Hello World, the form, and then these whatever the hell these boxes are. It doesn't really matter. Floating below it. Um, I'm going to click into the mobile mode now, and you'll see that we've got Hello Stephen at the top, the transparent box containing the form, and the two panels beneath it. Um, there's a couple of things missing from this. Uh, for example, I, I have this centered, uh, but because the text box was, was wider than the text, it wasn't centered, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to put that back now, like I had to do that manually. And there's no space here, so I'm just going to open these up a bit. So there we go. As I said, mobile is not perfect. You are you are going to have to spend a couple of minutes to get your page to look right. But that's literally all you have to do. Well, I, I still don't think there's any other page builder that, that even has that functionality. I could be wrong, but I, that's really impressive. This is a really impressive piece of software you, you've got here. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like we are, um, it's miles ahead of anyone else out there. Um, I just, I, I don't want anyone to say, oh, you know, you said it was completely automatic mobile. It, it's not. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Um, then to make something live, we hit the publish button um, and we'll call the page, hello, Stephen, hit publish, and that will upload it onto our servers, make it available, 
And then we've got a button now, we can view the published version. And as you can see, what we just built is exactly what you got. That's awesome. Can you show a few more examples of the pre-built pages? Um, just, I know even if you've already showed them, and then we'll start getting into the, the nitty gritty details about you know the prices and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, do, um, do, do you want to see a couple more or the, just the, the ones I showed just now? Are they good enough? Yeah, any, anything, anything you want to show. Just examples so people can see just how beautiful pages they can make with this. Oh, absolutely. So um, we've, got, we've got a load of templates in there, but th these are just a few I picked out. So you can easily make a local, uh, like a consulting agency website out of this, or we've actually used this template um, a bunch of times ourselves. So uh, we usually rip out these top bits, ch change the logo, and so swap the testimonials for whatever we want to say. And we've made loads of squeeze pages out of this. Oh, and we just changed the background image to match the offer we're promoting. Um, this is one of my favorite templates. It's, it's really versatile. Mm -hmm. um, the software guide one, um, basically any kind of like eBay, anything that you want to want to make a quickie like capture for. And again, the best thing about Convertry, the template comes with first name, last name, email, and phone. But if you want to delete, in fact, I'll show you. I'll show you in the editor because um, otherwise, I know I'm going to get accused of. Uh, not actually being. How, how many templates does it come with? I don't even know it had templates. I just thought it was this amazing page builder, but you've you got templates too? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So there's uh, 15, 20 templates in uh, the base package, and then the upsell is a template club where we've got a load more every month um, that our design team produce. So we can talk more about that, but just keep, keep showing pages here for now, and then we'll move on. Yeah, sure. So uh, let's, let's take this form. A classic example is it in this form, or it's like, oh, you know, phone number, like, and everyone's like, oh, I don't want the phone number, I don't want their last name, I just want my name and email. So I'm gonna go delete, delete, drag, 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 resize, and there we go. Uh, probably wanna move that down a little bit. There we go, and then the form's customized just to, to my desire for first name and email. Wow, man. It is amazing how far technology has come, dude. Holy cow. Holy it, cow. It's pretty cool. And as I say, so um, let, let's just do another couple of like random examples. So let, let's say you want the, um, so in fact, this, is, this goes back to um, a mate of mine called Jay, um, who uh, he asked me a question at one of Simon Warner's Internet Marketing Summits. Um, it must be about a year and a half ago now. And uh, we were talking about page builders um, and I was on some panel and he, he asked why, why I think it was 2015, why in 2015, when I want to move a button or a form from the right hand side to the left hand side, why can't I just do that? Why do I have to call my developer and get him to do it? And then why does, why does that take a couple of hours or a day or whatever? And at the time, I believe my answer was speaking as a developer who has to do those things, fuck you, Jay. Um, so, sorry for being facetious, Jay, but you did give me this fantastic idea for the freeform editor. Um, and you can now see that, let's say we want to swap this software guide with the form. I'll move the software guide out of the way for a moment, put the form over here, put it there. And as you can see, um, I can overhang this section. It's not restricted. If I want to put this text up here, because it balances it out a bit more, do that, drag this up. That is so cool, man. I'm very impressed. Good, good Thank you. Work. Good work. You can lay it out however you like. And uh, a, another quite cool feature I should show people, because um, people get quite scared of freeform editors. Um, they're quite, one thing that blocky editors are really good for is kind of that feeling of like stuff is a little bit on rails and like stuff's going to line up. Uh, so while we, we've got this concept of things snapping and lining up as I move things around, but we've also got a grid. So if people want to have this concept of knowing that their images, their boxes, whatever else is, is in a position that will line up much further down the page or anything like that, you can fit it here. So let's say we want to make this a bit wider. I can match it to the grid size and everything snaps in nicely like that, et cetera. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Cool, man. So, hey, let's, Let's jump into the nitty gritty details then. How about that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. 
Um, in fact, I've got uh, one more example I'd like to, to talk about before we get into that. Um, and that's uh, like the, the last of our like things you like people are going to struggle to compete with us on. And that's uh, stability of the platform. Um, because of the content delivery network that we use um, called Fastly, um, the, these pages that are published are just unkillable. And I know a lot of people have made that claim. Unkillable, meaning like if it got DDoS attacked, it can't, it wouldn't go down? Um, it would, it, like, the worst DDoS attacks in the world might take it down. But your regular strength, like, IM launch DDoS attack would not touch it. Um, to, to give you, like, so, some numbers um, here, uh, Fastly is used by Walmart for their Black Friday sales. Wow. Fastly serve 2.5 million requests every second. The amount of traffic that like anyone can throw at it, just can't touch it. So it um, that they are already serving traffic that most DDoS attacks generate. That's really cool. I think a lot of people are gonna really appreciate that feature. So basically you've integrated with Fastly to protect your, your pages. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. And we, we pick up the cost for that. Um, we, we pay several hundred bucks a month, just shy of a grand a month for the integration. And then we pay for all the bandwidth costs out of that there's no additional fees uh to sign up with we we take care of all of that this isn't some extra service you're gonna have to buy and drop in we, we've got all of that integration taken care of when you publish on on convertry you're publishing to fastly and your pages are absolutely rock solid um anchor shuttler did a launch um on our platform last week um in uh he did about fifty thousand dollars in the first 24 hours and over the, I think, six day period, he did $110,000. So you, you, a, a huge amount of traffic and it didn't even blink. Um, it, you know, it stayed absolutely rock solid the whole time. That's awesome, dude. This is awesome. I'm, I, I'm excited. I'm going to use this even if anyone watching this doesn't. <laughs> this is because uh, optimized press is just so unstable compared to this. This is, I mean, this is great. I didn't even know you had all this stuff in there. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I could surprise you as well. Excellent. Let me, uh, um, what, what, what are we talking about next? Should I turn off my screen share for a moment? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We're just going to start talking about when it launches and a couple other things. No, Tio. So, um, obviously, the name of the product is called Convert Tree. Now, when does it launch? What day and what time? So, we're launching on the 26th of July. So, that's Tuesday. So, about 48 hours' time. Um, the official launch is. Um, uh, 4 p.m. my time zone, which is, sorry, 11 a.m. EDT, 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, and there's a pre-launch webinar where you'll get um, an even more in-depth demo than we've just done um, and a bit of a sales routine, obviously. Um, we'll be doing that at 10 a.m. Eastern. So if anyone wants to hop on that, um, uh, please come and join us. And uh, what exactly is inside the front end? Like, what do they get for the front end purchase? Like, what, what all is included with that? So for the front end purchase, there's um, 15 or 20, so like the, the whole editor, everything you've just seen, you get. There's no um, there's no feature upsells at all. Um, it's not like any of the stability stuff, or page fee stuff. All of that is in the front end purchase. We've also got, um, this might not be quite all of the templates I'm about to show you. Um, oh, sorry. Let me just uh, click into one of these. So here's an example, just scrolling through quickly. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing my screen, am I? Let me, uh, let me turn it back on. Yeah, I see it. There you go. Now you should be able to see um, some examples of the templates we've got. Um, th these are all in the front end one. There, there may be some more um, we'll be adding. Uh, we'll definitely add a few more over time for sure. Um, then uh, we've got a webinar funnel template, so opt-in, a presentation. If your webinar software supports um, embedding on another page, um, you can embed it on a convertory page for your streaming, a replay page, check out one. Uh, we've got info funnel templates, opt-in, like a long-form sales page, upsells, downsells, checkouts, thank you. Um, software funnel template uh, for people who are doing more like, you know, sassy stuff or WordPress plugins, um, pure lead gen funnel. Um, and for the more e-commy guys, we've got a free plus shipping template all the way through from the opt-in, upgrade page, thank you, check out. Um, yeah, check out on that's actually one of my favorite templates. I think it's gorgeous. 
Um, so all, all of these templates are in the, that's in the front end package. Um, the templates, are, the funnel templates, let's leave that the uh, while we talk. Plus the integration with Fastly, that's, I mean, that's a lot of stuff. So I guess the big question is, what's the price going to be? So the price is uh, 297 one time. Okay, 297. There's, uh, there's, uh, there is uh, monthly pay options at 37 or an annual at 247, but um, th that's realistically just, just there for the, the few percent of people that want that. Re realistically, ev everyone should be buying the, the one time 297. Right. And I think, honestly, I think I know that sounds expensive, but gosh, I just, I just, there's nothing like this. This is like, this is like what a technological revolution for page builders in the IM space. So I feel like it's worth it. Like, I feel like, you know, I didn't know it was that much, but when you say it, I, I still think that's worth it. Like I get that easily. So excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad you think so. And I'm sure lots of other people will, um, when we launch on Tuesday, is there uh, it, 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 it is, um, yeah, the, the, the integrations, the page speed, the stability, and just the ability to freeform design stuff. Um, like we've we basically got two, two camps of people. We've got people who are more like design happy and we've got people who are more like, I just want my pages to load. And, but just anyone in remotely in either of those camps just loves this because the designers don't really care about the page speed, but they love that they can just put stuff hanging over the edge of other boxes. Um, and the, uh, like the, the page speed guys, like the raw, like we've, we've had a bunch of paid traffic guys review this and they're like, that is amazing. Like they've seen, uh, we had one, um, we split test um, a bunch of paid traffic and um, on our example, we, we got 25% more leads on the convertory page, it's identical pages, um, but just, just running through our optimizations, 25% um, more leads, so it's just straight AB split test. Um, it's a it, it's a it's a tiny price to pay for access to the technology. I you know honestly I think so too because this is like to me for page builders this is the iPhone, you know how revolutionary the iPhone was when it came out like this is a huge deal. I mean I've never seen anything like this. I mean it's, you, you've got the optimizations, you got the templates, you got the DDoS protection. I mean my mind is blown with how many features you put into this. So. Is, is the price going to, is there like any scarcity, is there a dime sale or an early bird or anything, or is it just two ninety seven throughout the launch the whole time? It'll be, um, we're putting the prices up at uh, the end of day two and the end of day, it's a five day launch. We close uh, midnight Pacific uh, on Saturday the 30th. Um, then the prices will be going up on days two and days four. So uh, at midnight on the Wednesday, midnight on the Thursday will go up, but I'm not going to tell you by how much. Uh, people are just going to have to show up and buy it or not. Yeah, so the, you basically have two days to decide. But from what I've seen so far, I mean, damn, this thing is cool. All right, let's do let's do this. This is another thing I like to talk about. I like to talk about the OTOs. So tell me about each OTO, what they do, and how much they cost. Yeah, certainly. Okay, so we've got two OTOs. Um, the first one um, is our template club, where every month, uh, so uh, for starters, when you buy the template club uh, for your first month, we give you an extra 15 templates um, for your 37 bucks. And then every month we will be releasing 10, 15, uh, just a load of new templates. Probably to start with, we've got a bit of a backlog, so there'll probably be even more. Um, just a load of extra templates. And uh, people that buy into the template club will be able to tell us, it's like, I love a template like this. Yeah, we're not going to custom build like really niche specific ones maybe, but you know, anything that a bunch of people want, we'll, we'll get a designer on. Yeah, you know, they're, they're going to be working on templates anyway. I'd much rather, like, people got the templates they want. So it's it's great to get in on this early, and then you can have some input um, on what designers you want. Screen sharing if you want to turn it off. Oh, yeah, cheers, man. Let me uh, cancel that. Show my ugly mug again. Sorry. So that's 37 a month for basically added templates every month. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right, and what's the next OTO? And then the next OTO is uh, a deal from Colin Therio. Um, he's put together uh, two of his top trainings um, on, uh, basically covers a huge variety of stuff from writing sales letters, uh, writing uh, video sales letters, um, there's stuff on squeeze pages, there's just a ton of stuff in there. And 
Uh, it's the best deal he has ever offered. He's never offered a two for one on his stuff before. Um, but um, during the five day period, there's uh, two, his two best training pieces available for 250 bucks rather than the 500 you pay publicly. Yeah, I know Colin first. And uh, it, his stuff is like, if, if you don't know how to write it, 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 his stuff is amazing. Yeah, yeah, you just spot, you, you, it's like fill in the blanks. And, and then you have something that converts wildly. So if you've ever had trouble writing sales letters or emails, I would definitely check that one out. Um, what's your OTO3? you have another one? Uh, uh, there isn't an OTO3. Uh, that, that's, uh, like, we think by that point, people will be pr pretty happy and pretty done and just want to get on with using it. Um, the, the Collins training's in there. It's like, I, I make some money on it, but it's not even, uh, like I'm not even making that much on it. I put it in there because people should have that. Like one of one of the number one things stopping people take being absolute map like the best advantage of this is they're like, Oh, I'm not quite sure what I should write or how to use these pages to sell. It's like buy Collins training and you'll never have that problem again. It is that's amazing. Awesome. That is awesome. That's that's a, that was a that's a brilliant idea. I can't believe you got him to do that. Because <laughs> I've actually bought but, some of long stuff to use for my sales pages and I had to pay, you know, individually for it. So they're getting a two for that's well worth it. Um Okay, so here, here's, here's how I like to close these things out. I like to give uh, the guests the last word. So if you have like any final calls to actions or words of wisdoms or like a personal story or anything, the, the floor is yours. Cool. Oh, man, I should have saved the Jay story for the, uh, the wrap-up. Um, no, cool. So uh, I just want to remind people that the three key things they're getting when they, uh, uh, when they buy Convertry. Um, we, we can't be beaten on page speed, we can't be beaten on freeform design, and we can't be beaten on stability. Like, th th they are three, three things that are just so important, and we got them in spades. Um, the templates are great, like the little cute things, like it's snapping into place, you know, that make, make it gorgeous to use and really easy to use, but it, it's all about those three things. Stuff loads fast, you can design whatever the hell you want, and uh, it is just rock solid. You can run a launch on it, Anchor has, we're going to on Tuesday through Saturday, um, and it won't even blink. That so, um, yeah, 11 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday, people need to be there, um, because it, seriously, yeah, five days, that's all it's going to be available for. And then, I know everyone says this, but I'm going to say it now, uh, after that, it is continuity only. Um, th this is a deal we can only afford to do once. We have a ton of recurring bills. Um, this is our launch, like big announcement, attract a load of attention, get a load of money into the company. But after this, it will be um, m monthly price only. You will not be able to get this for a one-time fee. Monthly, it, it, it's worth the monthly price. It's better. This is better than lead pages. It's better than click funnels. It is better than optimized press. I mean, it's worth the monthly price. I'm surprised we're even giving them the the option to, to buy lifetime. But you are. So so props to you, guys. Be here on Tuesday. At 11 a.m. Eastern, you're gonna want to pick this up. This, this, like I said, this is the iPhone of the page building world. This is cool as hell. And Andy, thanks for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Excellent. I've had great fun. Th thanks for having me on. This, this has been really cool. Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. Nice to talk to you.